Are we filming? Yes, we are. So, um, this is a short. Uh, this is a sh short uh, video that I'm going to uh, list under the philosophy category, I suppose, because it is my way of thinking in terms of developing um, a solution to this Danes and Hathaway problem. You'll recall that I won this in an eBay auction with a maiden bid, no less, uh, largely because of this crushed uh, crushed ring mechanism, which is a very, very nice ring mechanism made by Krauss, and it can be opened and shut with one finger. So I could use this just like this without having to repair it. Repairing it would be a little bit tedious and expensive. And I haven't actually replaced the Krauss mechanism before, so it will be a learning experience. I plan to do that at some point, but because of the patina, because of the fabulous, because of the fantastic look of this Danes and Hathaway, Danes and Hathaway binder, which is arguably one of the finest examples of any binder ever made anywhere globally. This happens to be made in Walsall, probably in the uh, early 80s, at the peak of the um, Farlafax style boom, if you like. And it's just, I mean, it's just simply sensational in terms of not only the, not only the uh, construction, uh, but also the materials used. And it has built up this patina over the over the years of, of heavy use, but without, luckily without damage. Although I noticed there's a little bit of a, a thread there that I need to sort out. Interestingly, that thread has probably been there forever because it's coming, coming out of between the two pieces of leather here. So that, that has been there since manufacture, which is quite interesting. Uh, no binder is perfect, but I want to show you this concept, which was prompted by one of my channel members. We've been discussing this, and um, he was very interested in the possibility of me uh, of how I was going to, I was whether I was going to either replace these rings or remove the rings completely and install instead a disc bound binder you can't really call it a mechanism um, but uh, what I was going to do because of the the fact that this particular model of Danes and Hathaway binder has got these two vertical pockets what I was going to do was I was going to just literally remove the mechanism and slide an appropriate bigger than this but a, um, an appropriately sized um, disc-based mechanism with rings that, discs, sorry, not rings, discs that were slightly more, uh, slightly larger diameter than here. But I just wanted to test this to demonstrate to my, to my channel member, my theory, because if you have, if you have a binder like this, inside a leather cover, any leather cover, there will be, by inference, some friction here, and the, the, bind, the, the binder will move. It's going, to, it's going to be less if these discs were here, but nevertheless, there will be an element, because the, there will be an element of movement, because as you as you do that, unless the unless the discs were absolutely at the uh, at the centre of the radius here, there's going to be a bit of movement. So there'll be less than this, but this just accentuates uh, and amplifies effectively what's going to happen. There's going to be a bit of movement where the card, if you have a piece of card, it's probably best to have a card, will slide in between the leather uh, le leather pieces here. And then if I put this at the other ends, so 
you're going to have you're going to have a little bit of you're going to have a little bit of movement so the question is will this be tedious and time consuming or irritating or will it actually be smooth enough to use as a as a binder as a binder leather leather cover now I, if i can get this to work then i think this will be fantastic because i'm a big fan of disc based binders um largely because you don't have the clickety clack uh, which which can be annoying if you're on a train or in a library or in a cafe. Um, you know, uh, I'm very self-conscious of doing the clickety-clack when I'm out and about. So this could work very very well, and the and obviously the the the, the quality of construction and the materials used is, you know, f for anyone that's um, got a well, I'm not going to compare this to a modern binder because the 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 cost of this, if it was available new, would be would be far beyond most people's expectations. It would be probably several hundred pounds. So we're we're talking about something in an entirely uh, on an entirely new level in terms of cost of production. Um, so I'm just interested. And there we go. So that is a little demo, um, just to see whether or not this is. Uh, a possibility. I think it is, and that is my philosophy. <laughs>